Good morning. Welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa Ann Spencer. Oh, it's so nice out today. I thought I would sit out here and record a video. I'm going to be out of town next week, so I won't be doing my usual Super Tuesday or any type of cooking video. Uh, I'll be at my dad's visiting, and um, so I thought I'd make this video today and post it Tuesday morning. Okay, so I have something that I would like to show you, to share with you. All right, this is what I want to show you today. This lovely little book. This book is homemade by my daughter's predominantly by my oldest daughter. This was her idea, but she rallied the children together and had them choose poems and make some drawings that they knew that I would love and presented it to me for Christmas, probably about two years ago. And now she's working on volume two, which is so nice. But when I say she made the book, I mean she literally made the book. She checked out a book from the library learning how to bind your own book. So she cut the board herself, bought the fabric, she did a lining on the inside page and then on the back page. She, she bound the pages together herself, sewed them and bound them into the book. That in itself is such a neat thing. But I want to open it up and show you page by page. I'll read you the introductory page to our mother who shared poetry and art with us first so that we could learn to love it. Now some of these, like this one, you can tell it that it was added. She had drawn some pictures, so then she put them in here, so it really does give it a scrapbook feel. But my daughter drew this. This is just an ink. The Poet Waits Quietly to Paint the Unsad by Atticus. So this one is by Janie Bell, and so this was done several years ago. She says in another poem by Atticus, One day I'd like to paint the perfect sunset if I can only find the words. And here's a picture drawn by Serenity and painted. And this is called Keep a Poem in Your Pocket. Serenity actually memorized this one and she can um, recite it. It's by Beatrice Schink de Regineers. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Here is one of my favorite poems by William Wordsworth. I wandered lonely as a cloud. It's about daffodils. So my daughter Rain drew this picture to go with it. That's supposed to be me wandering by the lake and looking at a host of golden daffodils. So not sure if you can see, but behind this poem is a very faint wolf. This is called the hunting song of the Ciccone pack, written by Rudyard Kipling. Janie Bell did that one for me. Another of my favorites, it's called A Man Who Boozes, an Irish poem by an unknown um, artist. I'll read this one because it's great. It was a year ago September, a day I well remember. I was walking up and down in drunken pride when my knees began to flutter and I fell down in the gutter and a pig came by and lay down by my side. As I lay there in the gutter thinking thoughts I could not utter, I thought I heard a passing lady say, 
You can tell a man who boozes by the company he chooses. And with that, the pig got up and walked away. So here's an interesting ink blot clock that my daughter Storm drew. And she posted a poem about time by Lang Liev. It's a beautiful poem. We'll move on. Here's a unique art style, some type of paint with splatter. It says, question, why do I love thee, O night? Answer, because you know I will never answer. And that is by Vera Nazarian. Lovely nature paintings here. Violets, roses, and sunflowers. Roses are red, violets are blue, sunflowers are yellow. I bet you were expecting something romantic, but no, these are just gardening facts. So another ink, Outer Space by Jomni Sun. This is a quote. I just want to go home, said the astronaut. So come home, said ground control. So come home, said the voice from the stars. Another quote by Atticus. I feel like I was given the eyes to see, but only one crayon to draw the sunset. And beautiful drawing with a funny poem based on a true story about a health inspector finding a cow in the back of the restaurant licking the bread. My name is Cow, and when it's night or when the moon is shining bright and all the men have gone to bed, I stay up late, I lick the bread by Sam Garland. Another of my favorites here called The Optimist. The Optimist fell 10 stories. At each window bar, he shouted to his friends, All right, so far. Another reflection watercolor. This is called a QWERTY prophecy. Keep on driving as the shadows grow longer. Find your way home ere the woods swell stronger. For the dusk will fall and the forest will call, yet none can foretell your answer. Beautiful ink drawing by my daughter with the sand flowing through the hands. And it's a poem about time passing. A poem about called Where is God? So a fish in the ocean is swimming and is asking, where is the sea? I can't find it. And then a bird flying in the sky saying, I've heard of this sky, but I can't find it. Home. Home is any place that makes you forget the world is on fire, at least for a moment. Rudy Francisco. A couple of poems with no drawings. They quote this one a lot. Spoiler, we all die in the end. Atticus. This is a good one. To hate is an easy lazy thing, but to love takes strength. Everyone has, but not all are willing to practice. Rupee Cower. These are my coffee cups. And it says, Mornings, a poem. Coffee, 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 coffee. Everybody be quiet. Coffee. And there's an avocado and another Atticus. Obviously, one of my girls really loves Atticus. Sometimes the short poems are the hardest to write. Change one word and the whole poem, avocados. 
It doesn't always have to make sense for you to get it. The bookmark is here because this is my favorite. This is my daughter Storm's creation, little possum characters. And she wrote her own poem about O Possum. O Possum Dapper, sharply dressed, bound to a party, but spies a mess. O Possum resists, but all in vain, to ignore possibility would cause him pain. O Possum Dirty, but dapper still, a party at home is quite a thrill. So there he is, spies a mess, gets dirty, decides not to go to the party, and he and his wife stay home and dance. Sweet! <laughs> so a beautiful little watercolor of a ship sailing, and this is a quote from the movie, the animated movie, Over the Garden Wall. Emily Dickinson. And this is by Rain. Counterfeit, a plated person I would not be, whatever strata of iniquity my nature underlie. Truth is good health and safety in the sky. How meager, what an exile is a lie and vocal when we die. That's Emily Dickinson type poem. I love them. So two pages of How Falling in Love is Like Owning a Dog. That is by Taylor Malley. You can look it up. And my daughter Serenity painted this one. This was our back porch and we would sit outside and drink coffee and eat chocolate and watch the sunrise. And there's a poem here that says, you are like a fresh cup of warm coffee first thing in the morning by AOOA. All right, so here they wrote a dedication. We would like to dedicate this small treasury of hand-picked poems to you, Mom, for being the best of your kind with love, your daughters, and they each signed it. And that's it. So you saw a few pages fall out because every now and then Storm slips into my room and puts a new poem in the book. So this one she did, just drew a picture of a book and it says, love isn't like it is in the books. F. Scott Fitzgerald. And rule number two, don't ever hug a lobster by Tearless Rain. Very cute. And then this one with the really cowboy look to it with a poem she found by Omnibus. Rootin' tootin' toilin' shootin' fire burn and cowboy bootin' eye of newt and spicy beans toe of frog and denim jeans whiskey grits and demon spittle tossed into my iron griddle with the tannin of our hides something wicked this way rides thought that was pretty cute so poetry can be romantic it can be fun it can be lovely beautiful meditative thoughtful and all those things the thing i love about poetry is it can be anything that you want it to be of course, my favorite poetry is found in the Word of God, the King James Bible and the way it's written. So even like the Psalms and parts of the books of the prophets that are written in a poetry style that don't rhyme because in Hebrew they may be rhymed, but in English they don't, but they're still so lovely and they're perfect because they're the Word of God. And he is able through language to say things and make us understand things that go down into our spirit. And that reminds me of two Bible verses that I want to share really quick before we go. All right, so it's in Job 32, 8. I had that written down in 2 Timothy 3, 16, because that's the only two places in the King James Bible that the word inspiration is found. 
And that is significant because Job is the oldest book in the Bible, and 2 Timothy is the last book of the Bible written. The book of Revelation, you'll often hear, was written like in the year 90 AD, but there's zero biblical proof of that, and there's quite a bit of biblical proof that it was written probably before Acts chapter 15. So anyway, that's another story for another day, but... Um, Job 32, verse 8, But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. How beautiful is that? So our spirit, we're body, soul, spirit. Our spirit is how God can communicate to us. That's why Paul says, He that is spiritual discerneth all things. It's because your spirit is alive unto God, and God communicates with you through His Word. Okay, so then let's look at the last one, 2 Timothy 3.16. It's probably familiar to you. I probably could quote it, but I want to read it just to get it perfectly right. Okay, and it's so interesting that this is the last book book written in the Bible. So it says all scripture, and that's because now it's complete. With the completion of this last letter, we have all scripture. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that... That's the purpose, that the man of God may be perfect, complete and mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Inspiration from God to us. We're so blessed to have it. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. It's been a little bit different from what I usually do, but I hope you enjoyed it just the same.